Hey, welcome back to Mac Break Studio. We're having a good time today. Um, I'm Mark, this is Steve. We're talking about uh, After Effects? No, not a, <laughs> No, I do use After Effects because it is, uh, no, no. <laughs> it is, I know, you're a motion guy, but you know, uh, there are actually a few people that do use Adobe there After are. Effects. There are, I work with a lot of After okay. Effects users and need to, need to be able to do that. Right, Okay. so what I want to do is how to prep your video files, your composite, your layers, your plates, whatever you want to call them in Final Cut for handing off to your VFX guy. Okay, you're an editor and you've got somebody doing visual effects and maybe they're using After Effects. Yeah, exactly. Even though they could probably do it faster in motion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. So what I want to do is just look at a simple project and how to prep them using roles for spitting out. Using roles. Using roles. Prepping your stuff for VFX using roles. Yeah. Cool, okay. Right, so so here we have a, a project. I'm just going to play this back here. You have a kind of a some 3D titles flying towards the screen. You have like a little solar flare as a kind of mid-ground element, and then you have a background element of clouds. All of this was built right here in Final Cut Pro 10. Well, that's fabulous. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm still so impressed. Beautiful 3D text. I mean, I'm so impressed with the 3D titles in this, uh, in this Very nice. program. Very oh, nice. It is. So, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Okay. I want to talk about roles. So, how do you prep roles? So, what I'm going to do is go up to the Modify menu, and I'm going to choose Edit Roles. And uh, right now there are no sub roles. I could create a separate video role. I tend to like using sub roles that keeps things clean. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, the two elements, like for the background, the mid ground background elements, I like to create sub roles for. Okay. Because they are, in effect, video roles. So you're going to create separate roles for each type of graphic element. Exactly. Got okay, it. So what I'm going to do is click plus here. And I'm just going to, oh, I have my mid-ground element. I'll call Nova. That's what it's called. It's the Nova. And then I'm going to add one more sub-role. And the background element is this clouds. Okay, so I've got. Oh, so you're being very specific. Being very specific. Because mm -hmm. when it goes over to the ActiveX artist, like, okay, there's, I mean, he knows what it is, but. Might as well have it named when it gets spit out of Final right. Cut, something kind of meaningful. And you don't need to create one for titles because there's already a video role for your titles. Well, I so you can see about the 3D titles are on their their own. I I could just spit out titles. I don't I don't really need to. Yeah, right, I don't need to create create one. Got but it. what the heck, I want to, so I'm going to. So I'm going to call this <laughs> 3D title. You, you're right. You don't really need to. So okay. if you had multiple types of titles, 2D, 3D, you could do that. You could have some. Yeah, some why not? Stuff, so that's from pretty much. Now I just need to assign these. So I'm going to start by selecting the titles, and I'm going to go modify, and we go down here, assign roles. Of course, you can do this in the inspector too. In right, the theater. right. Uh, 3D titles, Three titles, and I'm going to go ahead and select. It's and funny how they suddenly yeah, grow they, in size. Yeah, they did just kind of expand. <laughs> Why would you they assign do a role? All I did is assign a role, and you just got bigger. I have a role now. <laughs> yes. I'm bigger. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what's happening internally. Uh, so, so I'm going to go down, and I'm going to say assign roles, and that's the Nova. And, uh, and then this, I'm going to have to select all these little pieces here. I'm just, just shift click, kind of, because this isn't in sort of, this isn't in a um, uh, compound clip. Well, okay. you can sign it to a compound, but I didn't. I didn't create mm -hmm. a compound. So one last step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign that as, oops. Is it because Excellent. you have your, um, the transitions also selected there? No, you, it just shouldn't matter. We'll go ahead and select that again. And uh, you know what? Might have to see, yeah, let's try, this is going to the inspector and do it. That says, says video. And let's go to sign that to cloud. So for some reason, you, you couldn't do it there, but you can yeah, do it here. Yeah, you can do it here. Okay, yeah. whatever. So if you can never get some, if you can't get something done, just use the other method. <laughs> right. So now all of those clips are signed cloud. So it's okay. a kind of a multiple item thing. Got it. For, and you don't care about your audio. Uh, well, there, unless I know. wanted to give it to him, but this is all temp audio. It's going to yeah. go over to some. But yeah, I, I could, but we're not going to do that. Right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and close the inspector, and I'm ready to export. I'm going to press Command E. And uh, it's going to bring up my export or master file. I'm s sending it out as a master file. And under settings, okay, this is where I want to set this up. I want I video. To I want to do video only. Uh, no audio. Now, in terms of the codec, um, these are the only two that support the alpha channel. Everything below 444 is not going to include 444. 444. Four, 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 four is what like, people like yeah. to call it. So I'm just going to use that. I'm going to. I'm giving them the highest quality output. Okay. okay. Well, you could do XQ as the absolute highest. Uh, quality. We could, but that's. Not necessary. No, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> four, four by four is what everyone got away with for the first few years of this product. Yeah, seemed to work well. Yeah, so fine. So, um, in terms of roles as, you could say video as separate files. Okay. So this is where you assign, say, okay, I need to spit these out as separate files. And right now you have video and titles, but you can be specific. You can say, I want clouds. Mm -hmm. And then I can add another video file, right? And say, I want Nova. 
And then I, I could use titles, but like I said, I you've assigned I, it. So yeah. three So I've essentially set up my export preset. Okay. So now you'll export separate movies three, for each of for those each roles in the Apple ProRes four x four Kodak. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice is there's this option for you can save this as a preset. Like if you plan on doing this over and over, why I didn't yeah. have to go in and reassign these? You have a preset. As you can see, I already created a preset oh, previously. Okay, that's where it will show up when right. you save it. And what's really nice. It's so, it's storing it at a, in a specific place um, you know, on the Finder. If you wanted to, you can reveal where these are, and then you can share them share with them. other Final okay. Cut Pro users. Cool. Okay, so that's, that's that makes that nice. makes great right. sense. Okay. So I now click next, and then I save them, which I'm not going to do because I've already done that. In fact, let me jump out to the Finder. You can see this is these are the these are the three simple the three layers of three video. Yep. Content, and they're all named appropriately. That uh, they came out with the roles, you know. The, the role name was appended. The, it was to appended them? to the uh, to, to the, the project name. that came nice. came from. Nice. Okay. Right. So I'm going to jump over to Adobe After Effects and jump back to the Finder, and I'm just going to grab these three and just going to drag them into the project window. There they there they are. Now um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select these. I'm going to choose my uh, my 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 titles, and then. Uh, middle ground and background, and then to make a comp match the resolution, I'm gonna drag this all onto the, uh, excuse me, right onto the comp icon. Okay. And it's gonna say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna match I'll the match. resolution and everything, click yeah. okay. And there are all my layers. Um, you can see they're named and everything is in After Effects. And you can see them playing playing out here. It's obviously After Effects, unlike motion, has to <laughs> render <laughs> everything. And to, to play but, back but, but, time, play, right? but look at But look at that, it's, it's really clean. There's the, it, it looks, just like that you did in great. Final Cut. Yeah. And yet, in this case, um, it didn't bring across the transfer mode for the from the uh, the middle ground, but you can you can of course set that in. You can change set your blend in. mode or your transfer mode. Yeah, you can you can set that in here, that or you can set set that and change it. What right there? Um, I know that West Plate, uh, the automatic duck guy, has um, an app. You can send all your stuff from Final Cut to, yeah. to After Effects. But it, in lieu of using that, you could. This is another method you can get. Your uh, your layer content, very your, nice. Your stuff over to After Effects, and it's it's clean, it's high quality, and then and then a real graphics artist can take over from there. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I'm gonna kill him after this. <laughs> <show. laughs> that was no, that was no diss on motion. That's okay, just like okay. you know, it's just, a, it's another, you know, just another another tool. tool. It yeah. totally is. It totally yeah. is. And it's, you know, I I used After Effects for years before I discovered. Uh, other options, but it's an excellent, excellent tool. Um, thank you for that great tip using mm -hmm. roles for VFX. I hadn't yeah. thought about that. Hope you guys found that useful. Mm -hmm. Repletraining.com is where you can learn way more about all this stuff in great depth. Uh, if you're really trying to get up to speed on we have After Effects training, Final Cut Pro yeah. Motion, uh, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, mm -hmm. a, a full range. So if you really mm -hmm. want to learn this stuff in depth, uh, that's the place to go to mm -hmm. get structured training. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.